playing off with the CARM, the Cash Away Roofline model. Uh, this is a performance model that uh, is very easy to understand, which can give you an accurate performance overview of your application for a given system, um, while also giving you some good optimization hints that you can uh, extract just from observing the graph. So how does the CARM work? Uh, basically, the CARM is composed of two main roofs, a sloped roof that you can see here, and a, a flat roof. The sloped roof is has various roofs uh, related with the maximum bandwidth of each memory level of your system. And then the flat roof uh, is related with the peak arithmetic performance of your CPU. And um, basically these roofs define two main areas below them. These are the memory bound and compute bound areas. Uh, if your application is plotted uh, under the memory bound area, the CARM model uh, basically indicates you that in order to best improve your performance, first you need to consider memory optimization strategies for your code. Uh, for example, uh, taking better advantage of the caches, of the prefetchers, uh, improving communication inside your code. And then if you have an application here uh, on below the flat roof, like the last point in this graph, um, that means you have to improve first your uh, computation. So things like Parallelizing your code or using vector instructions can help you improve your performance. And then finally, you have the mixed area where both things can be applied. So uh, the CARM is actually tailored to the specific system it's being built for. This is because the CARM is based on uh, micro benchmarks, which are used to, to measure your uh, peak bandwidth and your peak floating point performance. That's why we have here uh, two different micro benchmarks. So we have a memory micro benchmark for each of your memory levels that will tell us how much bandwidth we can get from each level. And then a floating point micro benchmark to give us our peak uh, gigaflops um, from your system. So to make this process easier and more automatic, we have the Adcarm tool, um, which is integrated into SuperTween. So this tool uh, respons is responsible for automatically generating a CARM graph for your system. And it does this by doing automatic micro benchmarking of the system. And uh, this tool being fully integrated in SuperTween basically takes advantage of the SuperTween description to get all the data it needs about your system to build uh, your micro benchmarks and your graph. So besides this, uh, taking advantage of SuperTween's ability to monitor live performance events, we are able to make some more complex observations based on multiple events together and then doing calculations on them. We can have something like a live CARM, as you can see here. This is the what you can see in the dashboard of the live CARM for SuperTween. Uh, so this live CARM allows you to do some real-time monitoring of your application while getting the optimization hints that the Cacheware Roofline model can give you. This is very useful for profiling of heterogeneous applications, which can have different execution phases with different bottlenecks. So this is made possible by Grafana in conjunction with PCP. So we get our performance events from PCP and in Grafana we do all, all our metric calculations. And of course, the static lines in this graph come from the CARM tool results. So now I'll show you uh, live how this looks like. So I have here my dashboard. Uh, you can see this is my idle system. These are very small values right now because I'm not doing anything special. And uh, here on the right, we have some information about our CPU uh, related to the caches and the support for different vector instructions. So to demonstrate how this could be used, uh, I'm going to be running here two different micro benchmarks to test our uh, dashboard. So I'm going to be running a scalar floating point and a DRAM micro benchmark. So as you can see, now that they are running, we are already getting some new points being placed over here. So this is because our arithmetic intensity went up. We are doing a lot of floating point computations. As you can see here, we are doing scalar double computations. And now, for example, uh, if you wanted to, for example, move your points up in the graph, you would want to improve your computations. So now to exemplify this, I will be switching out my floating point from Scalar to AVX so that you will see here now the difference that this makes in the dashboard. So as you can see now, because we switched over to AVX, 
uh, our points have moved all, all up because we are doing basically more gigaflops than before. And as you can see, our scalar double instruction stopped and our floating point 256 feet double instructions have went up. These are actually AVX2 instructions. So now, another example that I'll give you is that uh, we are actually below the DRAM roof. So this is our theoretical um, roof for the DRAM. So we are not supposed to be able to go above this while doing something only DRAM. So I'll switch off now my DRAM micro benchmark for something that is uh, L1 related. So if I do it like this, you will now see that our points, actually a small typo, now you will see that our points are actually moving are actually going to be moving over to the left to come over here next to the L1 um, limit. So as you can see, we have crossed all of the other roofs from the other memory levels because we are now actually working uh, with the L1 um, memory level. So basically our arithmetic intensity went down because we are doing the same amount of computations, but we are trans being able to transfer a lot more data. So this is what this means. And now, as you can see, uh, we also have a report here of our memory operations. They have, since I've turned on the L1 micro benchmark, they have shot up by a lot. And then also we have retired instructions and you can have a lot more uh, other events if you want to monitor in real time. But for now, I've just shown the relevant ones right now. And so now if I go ahead and switch off both of my micro benchmarks, you will see that we will return to our idle values. So like this. Now switching over here. Um, basically, we have this live CARM support for uh, AMD and Intel, but we might not be we are not yet covering like every single microarchitecture. So in case you want to do this uh, by yourself, in case you have an unsupported microarchitecture, uh, you can do it um, by following these steps that I'm going to present to you. So basically, first off, you will want to find your performance events. This can be obtained from the SuperTwin description, which is in a JSON file here. So you'll want to find events that give you all your load and store instructions and all your floating point instructions. And then you can make your own configuration file, uh, your PMU mapping configuration file, kind of like how Osman has already said previously. Uh, where you will specify your microarchitecture. In this case, I have a Skylake system, so it's SKL. And then you will be uh, specifying all the different events that you want. Uh, for, for the CARM, you will have to declare this uh, CARM name here, and next to it, put all the events that you need for it. And then finally, you just add your configuration file on the supertween.py. Then finally, you will need to uh, make your own AI and Gigaflops formula, which can be uh, tricky and it will depend on the events that you have so you will have to know very well what kind of events you are looking at because you'll need to calculate a lot of stuff but here I have my example where basically what you do is you list all your events assign them a letter to make the formula easier to write and then below uh, you will be you just need to insert your formula uh, like so so on the top you'll have your AI formula which is the x axis and on the bottom, you have your gigaflops formula on the y-axis. This is how you can do your own life card. And uh, this basically finishes up our different features related with the Carmen life Carmen super twin. So thank you for listening. <laughs>